Hello, hello. How y'all doing today? All right, so let me tell y'all a little story because I got tons of stories. So a few months ago, we had a plumbing problem and it was in the evening. And I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, I wonder if there's a plumber in our subdivision. So what I did was I went on our Facebook, our subdivision Facebook, and I posted, help, is there any plumbers in the hood? <laughs> and there was. So this plumber, he came out, man, it was freezing cold. He came out here, he fixed the issue. He charged me 50 bucks. Wasn't that awesome? So what does that have to do with what you're saying? All right, hold up in here. So then I thought, I wonder how many business owners we have in our subdivision. You know, what if one day I need a, a painter? What if I need a mechanic? I'm on my way out to do a photo shoot and my truck don't want to start. So I thought, we need a subdivision Facebook that has business owners on there. So then I thought, how about a subdivision network group? I thought, you know, that's a pretty good idea. I put it out there on our subdivision Facebook. I would love to have a network group for our neighbors. Everybody was like, oh my God, great idea. Yes, yes, I'm in, I'm in. I work out of my home and I'm self-employed and my it, it just went crazy. So I started our subdivision business network group. Hey, okay, so what's up with that? This is what's up. I wanted a network business group for our subdivision and there wasn't one. So what did I do? I jumped out there. I said, we're gonna start one. And this is our third one today. I'm actually getting ready to go leave. I just need to put some lipstick on, right? But I wanna encourage you that when you get a thought in your head, right? Well, where else can we get a thought, right? We're gonna edit that out maybe. When you get a thought, I believe that maybe God put, puts that in us. So if you have an idea, if you have a dream, if you want a passion, if you have a passion, if there's something you want to do, put it out there. Talk to the Lord about it. Talk to you. Well, you don't want to talk to too many people because they might push you down. But go get it done. Look, I belong to tons of network groups. And I, I, I basically know what to do. So what we're going to do in my network group, right, is we're going to meet. We're going to, of course, introduce ourselves. And I'm going to have something to share with them every time we meet. So for example, at our last one, I asked everyone if they could give us a tip. So we're experts in our field. I'm a photographer. I can give you tips on how to pose, right? So uh, you wanna wear a little jacket and uh, it, you see how I look, right? I look a little fluffy here, but one example, I didn't even plan this out, but oh well. You, I don't know if this thing buttons, I've gained so much, right? <laughs> oh Lord, help me. Okay, hold on. So if you button the jacket, you can try to button the jacket. If you button the jacket, right? How's that for a dollar? It slims me up. Another thing is chin forward and down. Okay, so whatever. I'm asking, I asked everybody, okay, in your field, give us a tip. And they all gave us tips. I mean, we had realtors, uh, people in finance, they were all giving us all these great, valuable tips that we left with. Now, um, uh, anyway, I'm not gonna go off track on what we did, but I just wanna encourage you that if there's something that you wanna do, 
do it. Call your friends that are in that field. If you wanna be a photographer, give me a call. I can help you. I can tell you, you know, uh, the challenges that you're gonna have. I, I mean, I can give you tons of information. You need a mentor. So this that I want, I wanted a network group for our subdivision. I put it out there and now this is our third meeting. Isn't that fabulous? Look, I'm 50 years old. I want to enjoy my life. You know, I've already raised my four kids. They're beautiful. They're great. They are God-fearing children. Well, they're now uh, adults. But I've already done all of that. The car seat, the stroller, the suburban, you know, uh, homework every day. So now I get to do what I want. 50 is a fabulous age or, or 40 or wherever you're at in life. You need to do what brings you joy, right? So think about what would bring joy to your life and do it, do it. Let's have some fun in our life, right? I might not be here tomorrow. So this is another question I asked myself about, I don't know, two months ago. Gabby, if you were to pass away or if you were to have only six months more to live, what changes would you make? That was easy. I thought if I knew that I was gonna pass away in six months, I would start speaking in uh, uh, teen conferences. Uh, I would encourage and uh, uh, wanna inspire and motivate single women because I've been there. My, I have a heart for single women because I've been there. Teen moms, I have a heart for them. I was a teen mom. So I have stories to share and I told myself that's what I would do. Okay, so you know what? What if I only have six months to live and I didn't do this, right? So now I'm starting to step out and if my vocabulary is not good, you know, my, I'm not the perfect speaker, I'm going to at least take a step and do my part and I'll let God do the rest. But I'm, it's about time I'm gonna have me some fun doing what brings me satisfaction, right? I love photography, I really do. But the four or five times that I have spoken, I walk off that stage flying like an eagle. And then when the ladies come up to me afterwards and they tell me, you know, how they could relate to my story. No, 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 no competition here. The way I feel after I can encourage one, one, just one, brings me so much joy. So I'm leaving, but I wanna encourage you that if there's something that you wanna do, do it, do it, make time, get some skills, get educated, call friends, someone that is doing what you want to do, interview them and get some tips. All right. So I'm out. I got to go. Y'all have a great day and make this day what you want it to be. Right. Okay. Bless you.